Ah, uh, here they go. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh shoot. Ah. ah. Let's start with a quote from one of my favorite authors, John Maxwell. If you're not failing, you're probably not really moving forward. And if John were a fellow writer, he'd probably say it this way. If you're not crashing, you're probably not really progressing. If you've been following my story, you know that my mountain biking journey began in 2015. Now, I rode bikes prior to 2015, but it was very casual and mainly for fitness. That one's optional. Oh, let's just see what they have. Right. Won't ride it if it looks too dangerous. Oh, there's that. Oh, heck yeah. What I haven't shared with you until now is that sometime in early 2016, I had an epiphany. I honestly couldn't remember the last time I had taken a fall on my bike. And that's when it hit me, that I wasn't really pushing myself to improve. It was then when I also came to terms with the reality that getting better meant taking risks and taking risks, well, that meant accepting the consequences of crashing and getting hurt. A friend of mine often says that everyone wants to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. And so I set out to do what beasts do. crashed oh. and I crashed again and again oh. and again and well you you get the point Today, that reality remains unchanged. That crashing will still be a very probable outcome when I write. This is what It will be until I either stop writing or decide that I no longer want to take the risks and go back to a casual recreational writing, which by the way, there's absolutely nothing wrong with. Let me see if I can illustrate what I just told you. This x-axis will represent the level of risk. And the y-axis will represent the level of consequences. They both intersect at zero, which means that without risks, there are no consequences. We can also label these progression and crashes. Looking back at the last four years of my mountain biking journey, Here's what I've noticed. As I progress and take more risks, the level of consequences goes up, which makes logical sense, right? But here's what I've experienced recently. Even as I continue to progress, to push myself to go faster and harder, the frequency of my crashes has actually gone down. And I think the logical explanation for that is that progression has become experience. Now comes the big question, so what? Let's go back to the chart. If you're closer to the zero intersection of the chart, 
you're either a beginner or you've been riding for some time and now it's time to learn how to shred the gnar. Well, my friend, expect to crash. Because it will happen. More than once. But you can mitigate the risk of serious injury. Invest in protective gear. If you're on the downslope of the curve, which is where I think I am, even though the frequency of crashes has gone down, because we're now more experienced, truth is, the severity of each of those crashes may significantly be higher. And that's because we're going faster, we're going higher, we're going harder. Which is why I am at a point where I'm seriously considering wearing a full face helmet on most of my rides. And I would highly recommend you do the same. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree with John the Shredder Maxwell? That if you're not crashing, you're probably not really progressing. Let me know what you think <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> oh, I should have committed to that. This here is video one of a few that I have in mind on the subject of progression. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss the rest of them. And lastly, head on over to my Patreon page and become a Mustard Seed supporter. I will see you soon. Until then, ride fast, don't die. God bless. I didn't come down through, I tried to get you. So, yeah. Same way, I just that tire, too much rear braking. <laughs>